Uganda, like other countries, are fled dependent on petroleum products. Currently, Uganda uses about 6 million liters of fuel every day, most of it brought into the country by road using fuel trucks, despite their obvious record of destroying roads. Now, a private company, Mahathi Infra Uganda Limited, bankrolled by Equity Bank, has completed the construction of a cargo ship that will deliver 4.4 million liters of fuel per trip from Kisumu, Kenya, through Lake Victoria. Capacity, the capacity of this ship, it can carry up to 4.4 million liters of fuel. Named Kabaka Mutebi II, the king of Uganda, the ship can accommodate the contents of 150 trucks worth of fuel. Constructed to, to carry petrol, uh, diesel, jet fuel and kerosene. So one trip by this vessel will remove 150 trucks off the road carrying fuel. One trip of this uh, tanker. If it goes to Kisumu and back. You can see these fuel trucks of ours. The Magurukumi, they carry about 10,000 liters. But the other, uh, it is called a barge. It is built like a tank. It is a ship. It can carry per trip or per voyage 4 million liters. The road from Malava, uh, Busia to Kampala, almost every five years, they are doing repairs on it. And because of the transportation of some of these products. So this is one of the initiatives that is being done to ensure we reduce those trucks off there. And also the other issue of trucks is trucks catch fire. Mm. So imagine they catch fire and kill people on the roads. And that was an initiative of the East African community together with the partner states. See that they get most of these trucks from the roads to reduce on accidents because governments are spending a lot of money as far as rescuing people who are in accidents. And also government is investing a lot of money in rehabilitating roads because of the heavy loads of those fuel tankers. The company has also completed the construction of fuel reserves with a capacity of 70 million liters. But now government is helping in the construction of the road. The road connecting uh, this point where the terminal is to the main Entebbe road, Entebbe Kampara road. So UNRWA has taken this up and they will be able to compensate the people along the road so they can build, uh, they build the road. The company is expected to construct four ships of the same capacity set to serve Uganda and other neighboring countries. They have also built a jetty where it docks. This vessel docks on this jetty, which is about 256 meters long. So they dock here and they pump this fuel through the pipes. They have laid the pipes all the way to the tanks. Those tanks are storage tanks, temporary storage for onward transportation by, by trucks to other destinations. So the tanks have a capacity of about 70 million liters of fuel. So these vessels will be bringing fuel from Kisumu they come and dock here and then pump the fuel to those tanks which are transported now to other destinations. So this fuel, this facility will serve Uganda. It can also serve the neighboring countries. Since 2018, this vessel has been undergoing construction and is supposed to carry 4.4 million liters of fuel from Kisumu into Uganda and is expected to start operating in one week. Jingo Francis. NTV.